he walks out to Kid Rock's American Badass <laughs> with Kid Rock oh, and Tucker Carlson walking in like the right wing Avengers. Welcome to the Veteran Biker Channel. This is where we expose the hypocrisy and the mountain of steaming lies from the liberal left. All right, folks, buckle up. In the most shocking political move since, well, last week at McDonald's, Donald Trump, the people's billionaire, is set to do a podcast with Joe Rogan. Yeah, because clearly that's the combo to end Kamala Harris's campaign. Forget debates. Forget policies. It's all about a two-hour bro session where they'll probably chat about aliens, lifting weights, McDonald's, Trump's deep thoughts on Epstein Island, I mean, how could Kamala even hope to compete? Game over. Pack it up. It's not the voters. It's not you. It's not democracy. It's the Joe Rogan studio that will end the Kamala Harris campaign. Today's video, I've got some clips that are going to blow your mind. And it's all setting everything up for a cataclysmic collision of the people's billionaire and Joe Rogan. When he walked out of Madison Square Garden, it was fucking bananas. Really? It Went was crazy. the okay. whole place was cheering. He walks out to Kid Rock's American Badass <laughs> with Kid Rock oh, and Tucker Carlson walking in like the right wing Avengers. <laughs> and the place went nuts. I'm telling you, the f cheers of the crowd were nuts. I mean, it was overwhelmingly in support of him, and it lasted a long time. I mean, it was a roar. I mean, you had to hear what the crowd sounded like before he walked in, and then he did. I mean, it was just overwhelming cheers That's for like over a minute. I mean, just imagine a minute of people screaming at the top of their lungs. Donald Trump, right-wing Avenger. I think that's what we need right now. We've got so many evil villains. I grew up in the comic book age with the Justice League of America. Has Donald Trump assembled a Justice League to save America? And for Joe Rogan to say what he said, coming out like the right-wing Avenger to Kid Rock's American Badass. I think that defines exactly what America needs right now. We're looking for a hero. And sadly, the Democrat Party has created one. Only the Democrat Party could turn a New York billionaire into Batman. Think about the similarities. Bruce Wayne, Gotham, billionaire. Donald Trump, New York City, billionaire. Save America, doesn't care about his own money doesn't care about his life, has more of a calling to do good than just sitting back and enjoying the lavish lifestyle that takes many celebrities to Jeffrey's Island, right? And we all know if, if Trump was on the list, the list would always be, already be out. We already know that. But Joe Rogan is seeing something, and I got to say thank you, number one, to Patrick Bett. David, Army veteran, runs Valuetainment, and I think he lured Joe into this, and oh, it's going to be classic. Joe Rogan, Donald Trump, going to do the interview on Friday, October 25th. Guess what happens two days later at Madison Square Garden? Donald Trump. Donald Trump's holding a rally at Madison Square Garden. Have you ever seen any rallies where the crowd is chanting USA at a Democrat rally with Kamala Harris? No, she's throwing Christians out. Have you ever seen a rally with Kamala Harris where people are screaming at the top of their lungs for freedom? No, you're not going to see that. You're not going to see that. You're going to see celebrities that are being paid to endorse her. So when are you having Trump on? I don't know. Okay. You, the look I don't know. Maybe. Looks like you got something. Maybe. Okay, good. That's good. I think that's... Uh, I look, at a certain point in time, it's just like, it would be interesting to hear his perspective on a lot of things. I would like to know what is it like when you actually get into office. I would like to know things like, what what is it like versus perception? Yeah. 
what is it actually like when you get in that building? Like, what, what, what are you greeted with? When do you know that people are fucking with you? When do you know that the intelligence agency is lying to you? Like, when you decided to fire Comey, what was the thought? How much did you know? Like, what, what's the machine like? What is, what is the deep state really like? Really like? Because we have all these, you know, smoky room perceptions, like from the Bill Hicks joke, where they show you the Kennedy assassination from an angle you've never seen before. You know, what? That's a very interesting topic. RFK Jr., if Donald Trump is elected, we may finally know what happened on the grassy knoll in Dallas and what Democrat actually did that. What CIA operative actually did it? Where's Casper Weinberger right now? Is that old guy still alive? I guarantee you he knows what the hell is going on. George Bush Jr.? Love to know if his old man knew what was going on with that. I mean, he was a CIA director. Love to know. And I think the Rogan interview with Donald Trump, not only is it going to put a wooden stake through the vampire heart of Kamala Harris's campaign, but he is going to ask some questions that many people are not going to be comfortable with. They are not going to be comfortable with the question or the unhinge, unfiltered answers Donald Trump is going to give. This is going to scare the hell out of the Democrat Party. I don't know if there's enough copium for them to use to get over this. This could very well break the internet. People are going to know where they were at for this interview the same way you will know or remember where you were at when Ronald Reagan was shot. When Donald Trump was shot, when John F. Kennedy was shot, when the Challenger disaster happened, this is going to break records. This is going to break hearts and it's going to destroy one campaign. A two hour interview is going to destroy one campaign. Kamala Harris has always asked all these open-ended questions. She never gives a real answer. She was given the opportunity to go on Rogan, apparently turned it down. But could you imagine Joe Rogan talking to Kamala for two hours? What kind of substance would you need to do that? What kind of substance would you need to listen to it? And that would probably end his podcast deal. Nobody would listen to that. What is the machine that runs this country because it's very clear that it's not as simple as elected representatives that are doing the will of the people. It's not. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing you and Trump together. Ah, you keep Patrick Bet David. Thank you so much for laying the groundwork for this. This is amazing. How dare we speak Merry Christmas? How dare we? Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>